and we are live for episode number 18 of the LSU Tigers Dynasty. Today, I'm going to at least do a two-game stream for you guys. So you can at least expect two games today, but I do want to try to get the games over with fast because I do want to watch the LSU Tigers game a little bit. But LSU does kick off in about an hour, so I'll watch about an hour with you guys. Then I might switch over and play something else a little bit later tonight, depending on if anybody else gets on to play some video games with me. So, hope you guys are ready for a little NC stream today. We're going to be playing against Tennessee first off. So, let's go ahead and get this game underway. Wee. Wow, that's actually crazy. Everything is all in the middle. Heck. That's actually crazy right there. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the East Playing on the road against NCAA Tennessee. Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important that that as we get deeper doing? into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Look at the Football SEC Action. West compared to the Brandon East. Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. of the Tennessee River. We're in Knoxville, Tennessee at Neyland Stadium. Let's head down to the coin toss now. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Right. Enjoy everything. Oh, we won it. Gonna defer to the second half. The Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. 14 mile an hour win. He kicks it off, and he got all got Penn of State that and one. Ohio State on the TV right now until LSU kicks off later. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Banks with a big hole up the middle. Down at the 42 yard line. Down for Did you Tennessee. see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. He's at the 40. Oh, wide open Palmer. Big play right there. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Has some daylight. Ooh, he gets to the outside. He's got Rock blockers in the 12. front. We get the sack on first down inside the red zone, Glenn Logan. That extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. 
And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Makes the catch and he might take it. And he's tackled at the 14. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Glenn Logan real? Yeah, Glenn Logan is actually real. And they push him out at the 10. The screen is good for four. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Tennessee could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Trojans came into the day ranked 12. All those who said they weren't that good now have plenty of USC ammunition. USC lost there is to no Utah. To wow. Anything for granted in college football. When you do, it bites you right in the keister. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. Do still want to change up? All right, here, dude. Like, I don't like his shoulder pads. At the 30. Across midfield. He's gonna return this At kick for us. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Tigers. Aaron what Hall. A big time return for that young man. That's a guy that I, that I recruited up in this career so far. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Woods is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. You don't even get to see the offense yet. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Here's Ooh, an Baines opening. gets the carry, got a lot Baines of room the on the outside. Made at the 44 yard line. and it's incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle around the 48-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. He's into the open field. Ooh, read option. He's going to keep this self. To the 20. It's a block. What a play. Knocked out of bounds. Down that's going to be first to the seven yard line. A six and a half. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. Jesus Christ, Tennessee answered back fast. And so he found his receiver for the score. And you know, the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. 
a five play 74 yard drive and a touchdown as a result you know this offensive line has done a really good job but really i think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off they're gonna kick it right back to hall he's to the 20. Oh, but they're going to cover it up good 18. this time. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the <laughs> Mario, they're going to take a look at the offense. We this haven't had a like play a yet. <clears throat> you never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. Dang, Barnes. Quick throw, and down he goes. And Tommy makes a good throw. Yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. the catch and look out and they make the stop at the 48 yard line that's a gain of 11 on the play first down from their own 48 yard line first down fires it quickly great concentration to haul it in he gets hit out of bounds. Terrence Marshall Jr. with that catch, dude. That makes it first and ten. Let's go. That was a beautiful one. Yo, what's up, Nixon? And he's tackled after positive yardage. And this play is number eight on the drive. Runs right for a nice game. LSU needs a comeback. And here's another third down. I mean, LSU needs a comeback. Bring him down at the 19 yard line. First. That's good for a gain of two yards. First down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quick toss. And this will be caught. Touchdown. Wow. 
That was a nice catch by Moss. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Brady's a physical football player, but he's also I thought he overthrew him for a, a second. Impact in the passing game. You've got to admire the full extension to haul in that score. And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's have a look at what's going on in Oxford. And for Ole Miss, they've won two straight. All the right, there was a good a play. Win. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Woods Tigers looks ready to kick this one off. Williams back to return. He sends this one deep. Tennessee's offense is really looking dangerous so far in this one, Kirk. I mean, what's the defense going to do to slow them down? I think you have to start somewhere, and that, that somewhere, I think, is stopping the run. You have to load up, take your chances, put extra numbers in the box. Once you stop the run, that can allow you to put some pressure on their passing game. But right now, they're not stopping the run or the pass. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long Ooh, drive has him. had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure. And a blitz on second get down here. that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It out oh, to his receiver in a hurry. He's didn't even get anywhere close to him. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Got a man, watch out here. He's out of bounds at the 39-yard line. He throws it. Oh, Kelvin Joseph. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick. And wow. And he's going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. LSU is up by four. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Uh, Tay Proven's no running room. That right there is an amazing catch. For Penn State, one-handed over him. Rose falling back and finds his man. Justin Jefferson gets a gain of three. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Throw it deep over the middle. Down, the defense was expecting the I worked out for the best they right there. Might would have been paid. Well in the second. Reyes is the putter. It's a high kick and it holds up That's there. A terrible punt. Quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He just got to stick to the game plan. Quick throw out to the receiver. He goes out of bounds right around the 36 yard line. That'll play action good for about four yards. Fires it out. Ooh. They'll get with the screen loss. and lost six yards.
third and about 13 yards. Ball on the 29-yard line. his left gets it out to the halfback and that was a really well played series by the defense this is the kind of solid consistent play you look for in your defense let's see if the offense can follow it up brooks awaits the snap all right so dennis he's gonna receive it brought down at the 37 yard line Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. LSU holds a four-point lead. First gets tape proven. He gets a gain of eight. First good run of the day. That makes it second and two. We're going to head to the second quarter unless... Now we don't need to run another play. Just allow it to go to the second half. After one, this game's still pretty close. 14-10, LSU. Stay up we're back under center, even though we don't get a lot of plays. Gets to about the 47 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. First down. From their own 47 yard line. First down. Barnes on play action. Quick throw. Ah, oh, he overthrew him. He was open. That makes it second and ten. Dennis can't Gains find any two yards run either. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. LSU is up four. Smart route. Setting up play action. Jefferson was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Williams back deep to return. It's a short oh, that's kick. That's a terrible punt again. Williams takes it to 25, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he throws it away. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Got his man. Over the middle. On any Gain of five. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick 
quick throw out to Ooh, the receiver. He overthrew. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to that go. Zig route had yeah, my guy turned like around. This, just step and deliver and make the throw. Garantino, I think that's how you say his name. And this one is a <laughs> He just missed him. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 45 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. LSU is up by four. Nice Proven. Gain of eight. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's shoved out of bounds. Here's Marshall Jr. Is so good. That makes it first and ten. Going right to his tailback. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down. Keep the defense guessing. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. Try to throw a jump ball to Terrence the Marshall Jr. And allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Third down now. Just go with the mid to screen. The Probably won't work. LSU holds a four-point lead. Caught oh, it actually field. will work. At about the first nine down yard. and goal. Let's go. That makes it first and goal. Larry, Larry. Hey, watch that, watch that. He's on the run. Quick out to his receiver. Oh, Chase, turn around and he fumbles it. Are you kidding so me? This half, we've got first down going the other way. Often you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. Chase is gonna fumble it. In a game that's this close, he's gonna call for Call for the ball also. Taken down at about the 17 yard line. There he goes. What oh, another read option. Brought down around the 43 yard line. his way to the 46 yard line. Dude, Tennessee. We needed that drive right there. We needed points. He 
scrambles. And down he goes at the 39. There we go, Tackle defense finally so stopping him back to it. About two on the run. Patrick Queen catches him. From the 41 yard line, third down. And he just gets Ooh, rid of he it. had him Good open and he just defense. threw it away. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Oh, they're going to go for a field goal. Wrong play. How do you want to do that? The kick is away. It's long enough. That right and it there was right not even no close. Good. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And they make Dude, the stop I right around make the that one down line. This. Second and nine. Ball on the 42-yard line. The ball, the ball. LSU is up four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Number 23 brings him down at the 48-yard line. First down. Ooh, that right anywhere. there is a scary throw thrown over the middle. First down. From the 38 yard line, it's first down. Double juked right up the middle, but there's a flag on the play. At the one yard line, there's a flag down, and it looks it's like gonna this be one's clipping. Gonna clipping. clipping. Offense. Of course, the true freshman comes in and gets a clipping a penalty. A Yo, what's up, Spencer? and long now after the penalty did you get me or not I, well I can only do so much to get you on the team as fast as possible dude and he makes last it time I played it's been a few days so I haven't checked anything yet I take it week by week whenever we start getting recruits you'll see it up in the live stream man LSU is up by four. So what's up, King Nate? Zips it to the back. He's tackled at about the 37 yard line. Gain of four yards. That'll make it third and nine. You got Ohio State jersey number one. Well, right now they're down to Penn State, man. down how many games this stream I'm gonna try to do at least two but I do want to watch the LSU game and he hits him hard at the oh, 28 down a well designed and executed pattern but on third down and forever the LSU game kicks enough. off at eight o'clock I want to at least get two streams in and then I'm gonna watch that game 
two games in up in this stream. Go down conservative. The field goal right Looks before like the half. And that looked like a pretty good move as they called timeout before the play clock ran out. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's get you up to date on what's happening in Athens. It felt as if the game rested on every game they could have showed. Play. Oh my god, what do they want? I'll be right back, guys. My name's getting holler for. All right, I'm back. All it was was asking if I wanted food. Didn't want anything They're probably right just gonna swim this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before right half after the stream's over with. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 21-yard line. I really don't well, we enjoy eating during the stream. The Tigers with a touchdown lead. They always cook the food later. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. RIP, too. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. LSU is up by a touchdown. He gets Ooh, out to about the 37 yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From their own you do online dynasties? First down. Not really, man. I don't even know if it's possible to do them anymore. And he is drilled at the 34 I really don't do them. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, you it's know how to get a, a kick return touchdown. That's my first touchdown, dude. From their own 34 yard line, second down. He's taken down Ooh, no at the blocking. 33 yard line.
Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Yes, sir. Uh... First and 10. Ball on the 48. LSU is up. Yeah, that's why I don't really enjoy doing like cheese in the computer on kickoffs like that much. Every time you run to the sideline, there's always a lot of blockers, and I try to do more of kickoff returns right down the middle. But if they do kick it to the sidelines, I will return it from that side because I don't really do too much. Normally, just run in a straight line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Zips it to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. Jackson's on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That'll make it third and one. It to the 34. Oh, interception for Penn State. Here's the eighth play of the series. Wow. That receiver just gave that up. He, the ball went right through his hands. Bounced off of him. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23 yard line. Gets out to around the nine. Is it day over there? It is 7.31 at night. And this is the 10th play of the drive. LSU up seven points. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Freshman got his first touchdown on the year. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Jesus Christ, how many penalties? The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect What the heck? How many unsportsmanlike un conduct penalties was there? There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Palmer cuts it up field. Oh, well, State need to get settled in. 7.33 where you're at. 31. 7.33. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Oh, Penn State stopped in the backfield. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball on the 40-yard line. Mike, six. Watch, 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 watch. 
On the draw, tackle in the backfield. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stops before he even gets going. Jesus Christ, Trace McSorley just overthrew him by a mile. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 42. That's it. Texas Tech lost today. It's Texas. It's Texas Tech, your favorite team. Dennis, the return man. Jesus Christ, I can't speak today. He's taken down at the 19. LSU's showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They've found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. And we see this offense again after which oh, you man, that sucks, dude. Very Who did they lose to? Drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle around the 34-yard line. West Virginia. At least they kept it close with West Virginia. West Virginia is a really good team this year. Got his receiver, Ooh, dropped it. Incomplete. Justin Jefferson couldn't hold on to it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Thirty-five to ten at half. Dang, man. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the thirty-eight. That sucks, man. They could have just held him down a little bit up in the first half. They probably could have won that game. Reyes, it's a punt. That's a good punt. That's the first one I've had all day. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it to the 31. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Fires quick out to the that's receiver. A drop. Can't make the grab. Hope was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31. Got him wide open. Out of bounds at the 50. Quick 
strike to the back. No good. From the 50, it's second down. Throws in the middle. Ooh, Banks. And down he goes at the That's 43. something out of nothing. Banks. Gained seven yards with a catch there. That makes it third and three. Larry, Larry, Larry. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Another drop for Tennessee. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. team. We get a clipping for a coach when you also, preach fundamentals you every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. It's first down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. He makes it to the six-yard line. We're going to run with this play right here, the stretch, to start the fourth quarter. I should have just went ahead and did the two clock thing us off of NC and let it just go to the fourth. So at the end of the third quarter, LSU leads it 24-10. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. I don't want to run it to you. I'm going to run it to the open side field. He's tackled. And that didn't get anything but a yard. For the tailback. You have to like how this linebacker was able play. to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. their own seven yard line it's third down yo what's up scooby quick throw out to the receiver incomplete williams back deep to return Tries to get around the corner. There and he's tackled get him. at the 46. Had a great return for him. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Ooh, Banks gets a good carry. And he's level at the 36. Carries the ball for a nice goes game. up the middle, gets another first down for him. And 
they make the stop right around the 18 yard line. Good job by the offensive line. I mean, Tennessee the Stadium the up in that gave the quarterback football 14 was actually really good. I wonder what it would look like up in, like, on a next-gen console. I wonder what every stadium would look like. At the 19-yard line, pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop them for a loss of one. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 19. They're running it. 24 is the mic. Here we go. Check, 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 check. And he hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Bring him down at about the five yard line. Out of hands on corner touchdown, Tennessee. Well, it's all about the receiver on this yeah, I know play. about the mad man team mod. Not too worried about the mod because I don't have a good enough PC to catch, but the stream to the referee. and like stream our record. Man, as I see this play the NC again, mod on really Madden. Looks like he made the correct call on the field. So the call on the field stands. Let me get me another computer. Stream, or have one for the PAT. play Madden and stuff on, and then another one just to stream and record. Kentucky and Louisville in the battle for the Governor's Cup. The Cardinals continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. Louisville leads it 28-21. The one touchdown ball game race 24 to 17 here. Hall is back ready to receive and boy has he been the game breaker on special teams today. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial again. series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. LSU is up by a touchdown. He Ooh, makes it out no maybe to the 26-yard line. The Provens haven't had a good day. Second and nine. Ball on their own 26. complete he's got space to work and he is drilled at the 34 here we go all and into the nice line on that run and a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. From their own 38-yard line. We got 10 first minutes down. before LSU, or actually probably about 20 minutes before LSU kicks off. They try running left. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. If number 70 would have kept running to the outside, picked that block, Ray Dennis has speed to run.
Strike to his receiver, no good. Tennessee is playing pretty good right now in this third quarter. So we're looking at another third down Not here. This third quarter, this fourth quarter. Now he tries to buy some time. Looking for the corner. And he's tackled right we're around the We're going to run with our quarterback, get the first down. Offensive line is tired. Sweet, dude. I love when the offensive line is tired. LSU up seven points. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Oh, Edwards spins He's them the out. 30, to the 20. And they finally make the stop at the 13. So we've got a first down after a great running play. And there we go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Tenth play of the drive. He tackles him for a loss. He proven loses the yard now. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Touchdown, Tigers! We're gonna lower the, we're gonna lower the shoulder with the quarterback. Fights for the end zone. Take the two possession lead with two minutes and 16 seconds and he hits the left. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score. 31-17. Woods looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Quick throw out to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 32. Just under two minutes in the game. We got Paul wide open. Right away. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Going long. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Watch the run, watch the run. 
got him outside again, and he's going to drop it. Is just to throw the ball into Third down in he Ken, got away with one right there. He's Tennessee. very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 43-yard line. Third down. Got a man tackled for a loss. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to go for it on fourth down. Going to go with the cover four. Oh, he got him open. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Here's the eighth play the of the series. Adam. This might work. Quick strike, and he drops it. Ooh, Greedy Williams almost ended it right there. Short yardage situation down here. Down and 11, let's send another blitz at him. They are two of nine on third down conversions. Don't worry, they'll get this one, though. He breaks the tackle. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely wow. with the first and goal. Tennessee's going to have to use their second time out of the half. This is the 10th play of the drive. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. That dude's gone. It's the 11th wow, play of the drive. Penn State. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Tennessee's been telling anybody that would listen that this kid really has what it takes to be a star. He's always going to remember that first touchdown. I'm sure he's going to have a lot more. Great moment, though, for him and his family. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11 play, 78 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart. Recover right it, it's over with. That's GG right there. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? All we have to do is just do a, a quarterback knee. I'm going to make sure call a timeout right here, but it doesn't we matter. We see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The Volunteers using their third and final timeout. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. Let's go. We don't even have to call another play. That's GG. We beat Tennessee in a close one. 31 to 24. We had a fight to the finish here today. 31-24, LSU.
That brings this broadcast to a close. Free Played a pretty good game Kirk there. Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14. Pretty sure that number 85 single singleton I think his name is either singleton or singletary he had a, like one catch one touchdown Brent Barnes 184 yards two touchdowns Russian Clyde Edwards Hilaire is constantly impressing hey Provins ever since the playbook that I got this uh, this season has not been suiting him too good. Yeah, Charles Singleton had one catch, one touchdown, and Thaddeus Moss had one catch, one touchdown, and his touchdown was actually insane. The reason why I say that. We can go back and take a look at it. I think it was in the first quarter. So they drive, they get a field goal. We get a touchdown on a kickoff. They drive, get a touchdown. We take our time, and then we get this play. Boom. Let's try to... Syracuse should have beat Clemson. It was close. I didn't watch the full game. I seen the end of it. It was like as soon as I turned on the game, Syracuse started playing like ass, and then Clemson stepped up. I guess I was the curse of it. Every time I turn on a, a game that somebody's about to upset, the team that's supposed to win always comes back and wins. So LSU and them should be coming on. There they are, right there. I'm like, wait, where are they? Mississippi State and Florida are still playing right now. So let's go ahead and sim the rest of this week. We play against Wake Forest next, so that should be another gimme win. Then again, that you never know. LSU versus Alabama in the national championship. Alabama wins again. Dang, doubt not LSU like that. LSU can just play consistent. They have a good chance at beating Bama, but if they 
their offense keep playing like they have been, it's going to be a little bit interesting. What's your hardest game your season? LSU, um, I don't even remember what my season was. I know Florida State was the first week. And it was Louisiana Tech, Tennessee. Now we're about to play against Wake Forest, and I can't think of. I can show the schedule, the rest of it. Wake Forest play their first game, wow. Florida, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Auburn, Alabama, Middle Tennessee, Texas A&M, and Arkansas. Who did Alabama lose to already? Wow, they got blew out by Texas A&M. <laughs> recruiting before we start playing. Alright. Georgia, we're in a close race with them. Yeah, we did. For some reason, always up in NC football games, Auburn is always tough, and Bama is always the team that ends up falling off on the board. Does somebody scholarship? Yeah, this dude does. Even though he's not that great, he could always develop a little bit. Team still like team I have what LSU. This is the third year, and let's just say that they're not as good as you would think they are. Wait till you see the team. Like we still have Greedy Williams, which we're lucky. I got a freshman quarterback because I feel like he's better than Miles Brennan. It is 87 speed. A. Provens, he's our best running back. He's a junior, which he's not even playing good because it's the playbook that I got. Should do a random team dynasty sometime. I was thinking about doing that one day. Fullbacks. They're pretty yikes. Receivers. He's going to be leaving. And that's pretty much it. Every tight end is leaving. My whole offensive line's leaving after this year. Huh? And then defense, he's leaving. He's gonna be leaving. He's got a chance he'll leave too. Same one him, he's a junior, senior, senior, senior. So yeah, this, after this year, it's pretty much going to be like a rebuilding with this team. He's leaving, he's leaving, he's leaving. He's leaving, we got a freshman safety there, redshirted right now. He's leaving, he's leaving, and he's leaving. Yeah, the whole team is going to be different after this year with LSU. And I got to go take out dogs real quick, so I'll be right back, guys.
Alright guys, I'm back. Alright, I'm about to start up the game against Wake Force. What's up, Carvel? So Wake Forest has a decent offense, apparently. Unless you and them's about to kick off. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Tigers are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations okay, what kind are of going to rise. Stuff is this? It's raining sure up in my game. It's raining over the there. Thanks for Baton checking Rouge out the right now. Show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Right. Sitting over 92,000 fans. I have Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. Like crap up in this game because I'm watching the LSU football. game at the same time. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The LSU is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wake Forest's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids uh -oh. the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 36. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. The way game already on Ole Miss. And a drop. He's at midfield. Oh, that dude got and a he's taken down big run. At the 41. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. Carney only picks up about a yard there on the draw play. That was the junior line. Interception! Credit with the tackle there. Did he get that? And he tackles him hard. Grant Delpit. That was a play and a half by Grant Delpit. Was he in bounds? Ooh, over the middle for Washington now. His knee looked like his end, so he might have had that. Let's go, man. He might have a chance. Tackle right around. Wake Forest is driving on us in this game. Guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. They try to take a shot deep against Just LSU. Grant Delpit said, "No, I'm not having it." 
They might be coming here. Scrambling around. Oh, and he's going to run, run it for the touchdown. touchdown. the extra point let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio let's take a trip to Norman the Cyclones win it by three they line up to kick this one away he sends this one deep he's to the 20 brought down at the 28 Joe Burrow nice throw The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. their own 35 yard line it's second down and they make the stop at the 37 you can see 14 is timeless it'll never die the only time NC 14 will die is if they ever make a new NC Gets out to about the 38-yard oh, line. Oh, we got and that brings up by Wake down. Forest. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Got to punt it back to Wake Forest. We, our defense got to make a stand. Reyes is waiting for the snap. Signals for a fair catch. Last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Wake Forest is up seven. Throws to the back there quickly off his hands, incomplete. How about that defensive play? Yeah, somebody better go get the trainer. I'll tell you what, that tailback is lucky to still have his helmet on after that shot. From their own 21 yard She's line, gonna try a it's ball. third down. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Cole Tracy make this field goal. Play fake and looking to run. He dives and he'll right be down. down. Oh! He had that right down the middle, but it was too short. Dennis, the return man. He's to the 40. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Dang, that, he almost had that field goal. <clears throat> That's up to LSU's defense again. Got to if they can slow they down Ole Miss. They know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. I thought he had that for a second when I looked down, or looked up at the TV. I seen it going right down the middle. Down, the I looked up again and hit off the bottom of the post. No that makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44. This one will fall incomplete. Jesus Christ, how fast is that, dude? Momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. 
Wow, that was close. Threw that way inside, and he just ran like a mile to get to that. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. They didn't line. give me that first down. We're going to go for it on this drive. And it's the offense. I swear that I had that. I don't watch that back. Oh, yeah, 100%. We really had that first. That they aren't going to just punt this ball away. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. We're going to keep the, the offense out off. there. Good call to keep it on the ground. You only need a little bit. Go ahead. Get the first down. Good call and good execution. Tech is blown out Duke 24 to 7. I expected Virginia down, Tech to come back this week after losing to Old Dominion last week. And he's tackled after positive yardage. What's scored to the Stanford and Notre Dame down. game right now? Because I see he said you, they're both looking bad on defense. Box, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. It to the right. Oh, I threw the that to the right. Second down, 10 to go. Ooh. All on the 31 yard line. Ohio State rules. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. That's got to be very frustrating. 14 late second quarter. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Makes the catch and look out, and down he goes around the 25 yard line. Number 12 on the tackle at the 25 yard line. That brings up fourth and three. He gets it up, and he just drilled it. One thing I want to know about that. Those flags Let's right there. If they had a legal Here's formation at first, shouldn't it? The, to the, game, the, top team in the, country. the Bulldogs, they put the, the play even be ran on the board that going point? up top with a beautiful pitch and catch for the touchdown. I'll get the that Bulldogs one. Have the lead, seven but it offsets anyway, so first seven down and ten in still. One. Woods looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Wake Forest is up four. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled at the 44 yard line. An extra reception. Call it a gain of 19 yards. First down. Mike 18, Mike. It looks like they're going to blitz. Oh, he's wide open. Quickly, and he's got his man to the 20. And he breaks the and tackle to touchdown away for Forest. The touchdown.
White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. That's perfect timing between a quarterback and his wide receiver. He recognized the middle of the field was wide open, and I really thought the quarterback kind of looked the safety off to open that play up to the middle and then made the perfect throw for the touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Demon Deacons on this really came prepared to play defense today. And the well, she needs a stop so right here on this third game, down. You've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Throws complete, and he's got room to work. That's a great tackle at the 35. Number three with the tackle at the 35-yard line. That'll make it second down. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. 35 to the right. Oh, he's open over the middle. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Fires out to his receiver, and he's immediately tackled. yard line it's first down they'll wrestle him down in the backfield sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever quick, reason oh. doesn't mean you throw the play away you just need to execute better next time pass and they push him out at the 29 yard line that's it for one and we might have the upset of the week on our hands 14-3 wait for it back to the action now here in the second quarter Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29. Mike 35, Mike 35. Right now. Ready to act. Ready to act. Ooh, he's going to scramble. Now he tries to buy some time. Quick throw. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making the catch. I don't think his catch. foot would have been inbound either way. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. takes the lead to the end zone touchdown <laughs> and he hits the PAT an eight play 75 yard drive and they put up seven points an amazing drive for this offense outstanding execution if you're the defense you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Wake Forest holds a four-point lead. He fights forward to about the 26. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That brings up second and nine. He gets away. Brad, I just think this quarterback right, LSU needs much some better points job on this drive. Read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Listen to this place. Complete. There we right go. We got the stop we needed. Dennis is the deep man awaiting the return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled Ooh, at the 39. That's a nice catch and run. Uh, Foster Moreau. Number 18. That dude's hurt. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can Anybody be from Ole Miss gonna come out there and check on one or two plays. Nice run, and he's brought down. <laughs> he was laying on the ground forever. It seemed like. So it's second. Before anybody now, even came into the picture to come check to on him. down after a nice run up the middle. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. Second and eight. Ball on the 46. He's in trouble. Why are you throwing it that way, dude? Great just job throw by it the defense of getting after the that right quarterback. Side. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. for three on third downs right now. Going deep. Tackle made at about the seven yard line. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal Ooh, line. We do almost got sacked on that play too. Taken down at the six. That's a game of one on the play. Clyde Edwards Hilaire's not doing anything this week. There we go, Clyde Edwards Hilaire gets into the end zone. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's check in on the SEC where the supersonic speed defenses wreak havoc. And for Tennessee, they've now dropped three in a row.
LSU ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Maybe beast mode. <laughs> and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wake Forest has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was okay. going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Okay, Lewis, what are you doing out there, man? And he shoved out of bounds around the 38-yard line. Got it. Complete Our team is not playing man coverage great at all. Probably can't play man against this team. There we go. That's a good play by LSU. And he's level at the 47. And they make the stop at the 50. down now and they need to get it down to the 38. Okay, let's play for the pass on this third down and 11. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Elvin Joseph gave it up. Oh, offside. He's scrambling, heading for the corner. Decides to slide. He might have a chance. Tackle at the 19. What the heck is that? Nice run to the outside. Okay. And he's taken down around the 16 yard line. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Wow, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, dude. He's a guy who fights for those yards. He's so little. Well, he's like 215 pounds, but he's 5'8. Touchdown! Can tie it up here with this kick. Jamar Chase, dude, he is a beast. He didn't make it by much, but it counts. That certainly wasn't the best kick of his career, but it did do the job. And like Brad said, it counts. Looks like they're ready for the kick. That right there he was a good throw. This one. Makes it Get to the 22-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He 
He's got it with room to run. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds. There's Jamar Chase right there for me. Line. Using the run fake and getting the tight end involved. That right there was a nice drive by a LSU. Prepare for when you play against them, and sometimes it's very difficult to stop. From their own 43-yard line, first down. He's at the 40. Good tackle. He was There's the Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Ooh get a big game like that, that does boost your average up a little bit. I do let's go under center for a play or two. First down, ten to go. Ball on the twenty-eight yard line. He's at the 20. And there goes Tay Proven. Play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Down to the one. Do a flea flicker. Defense and their short yard. I don't know if I have one up in this playbook. Doing a flea flicker on the one yard line though now. I've tried a decent amount of flea flicker. Oh wow, I didn't get the touchdown on that. Waste some more time, I guess. I've tried a few flea flickers and have not got one to work at all. I'll just run some more clock, make way for us. I have that much time, then we get the ball at halftime also. Gotta be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, LSU! I got 40 seconds with all three timeouts. And okay, I'll just put this back to balance. And he converts the extra point. It was a five play, 77 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Out of bounds at the 25 yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 25 yard line, second down. Here comes the pressure. And they get the sack. We the get offensive the sack line on. has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Ooh, BYU's falling behind. All right, they're going to let it go to halftime. All right, LSU's corners just got to hold up against those receivers. LSU's lead is a touchdown. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and Dude, foremost who did a good job of taking care of the ball. Dude, and you don't screaming see off the edge. Game, that's for sure that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that... All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers Rudy are Williams' action name is like Andres points. Williams or something like that. Wrong. The other team can't do anything right.
Is that Christian Fulton? Or Kelvin Joseph that time. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. LSU is up by a touchdown. Oh, Tay Provins to the outside. He's to the 40. Fumble. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Oh, my God. If we would have lost that. Well, guys, I'll be right back. I got to go get my night shot real quick. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back, guys. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down, LSU is up seven. He's on the run. And he just gets rid of it. Throw this away. third down now and they're going to need about four and it's caught and down he goes the 39 yard line oh there goes Joe Burrow I don't have a fully flicker in this playbook, I don't think. 
Joe Burrow keeps it himself again. Nice run there. I'll check this one right here, but I don't think I got a flea flicker. Nope, I do not. This right here is a setup play, so I'll do it. LSU is up a score. Setting up the play action. Here they come. He's at the 20. He goes out of bounds around the 12-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12. To his tight end, nothing doing. Not a great throw, but the Bruce gonna but to drop fair, that one. Come on now, dude. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's tackled at the three yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there. Oh, allowing rough the back the to pick up nine on the play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Tackle made at the one yard line. First down. Defense try to hold their well, ground here. Playing pretty good First right now. Inside the five. Two more steps. Yeah. Run, run, run. Touchdown, Tigers! the extra point so a 10 play 76 yard drive and they put up seven points the score now 31 17 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff he sends this one deep And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Bounds right around the 30. Scrambling around. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 44 yard line. Tackled at about the 45. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. 24 is the mic. That's
That's a great tackle at the 42. Carney gets around three on that halfback counterplay. Well, Ohio State brought Lyman it back. His experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Favorite team is LSU. That's what's up, man. I see your badges. Are your uh, avatar on YouTube is also Saints. Throws middle of the tight end. Brought down around the 29-yard line. Oh, Grant Delpit almost had that pick, dude. From the 29 yard line. First down. Oh, that dude stayed off. Right around the wow. Call the gate of nine yards. That brings up second and one. <laughs> Michael Definity Jr. didn't even meet it. He kicked him in the face or kicked and him in the head. Play of the drive. Deep pass to the end zone. Sack for right, LSU. This quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read. Brand Delpit is a beast, dude. Quicker decisions. Future Especially first round pick right the there. When defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. That's the and next so Jamal Adams, dude, 100%. There's a little bit of I've been a fan of him ever since LSU the recruited him. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. They're showing blitz. Now he's scrambling. And the bullet sat him, and we sack. get to the quarterback. It's the senior corner who nails the quarterback for the sack. Nice call here, but they might want to wait a while before going back to it again. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. And he hooked Wide it left for well, Wake Forest. When you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. So it's time to see this offense go, go to work again. Right this defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Ooh, this might not be good. But it's good. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down right around the 34. A gain of six. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen. He had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Gets out to about the 44 yard line. Uh, is this Halloween? Yeah, that's Halloween. I was like, what the fuck is that commercial? From their own 44 yard line, it's Don't first keep down. the ball on the ground.
Runs outside for a nice gain. Hey, Proven's over 100 yards now. Sub. Put in Ray Dennis to the counter. First and ten. Ball on the, the open yard line. side field. Ooh, they only got two people over there. Three people, really. They react perfectly to that. Ooh, those pancakes look good. Dave Aranda is a good, is a beast defensive coordinator. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Out in the pistol, Joe Burrow. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 31 17, Tigers. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Going to the end zone. Oh no. Picked off. It's the ball. I knew that was going to be picked. I just don't think he saw the defender and he threw the I wanted ball right it right more to the outside. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Dang, dude, that, that was a second interception on the year, too. Makes it to the 22-yard line. forward to about the 23. One thing about LSU receivers is they are tall. <laughs> Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He scrambles. They bring him down. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. You know, for the rest of the game, now, he's going to be he looking been for this guy every time he drops back for to pass. Let's see if it that throws an, off his time. Yeah, Anderson and Jamar Chase. I think Chase got a bright future Dennis, for him. He's only a true man. freshman. All right. Is he a true freshman? He really got a hold of that one. I think he is a true freshman. Dennis fields it at the 37. He steps out around the 40-yard line. Oh. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Way to the throw in up the middle. And up 10. That'll make it second and inches. It's 
So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Right the halfback with a carry. There's a missed tackle, and he carries the ball for a nice game. On the two clock. He makes it out to maybe the twenty yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the twenty. up the middle. Strike to his receiver, oh, no good. Behind. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. That brings up fourth and three. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Actually, I think that might have been his third interception. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, time to take a look at the action in Oxford. The Red Hawks grab the win by five. 34 to 17, our score. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Should you buy in CAA again? Is it possible for you to buy it? I'm pretty sure, like, He's on, on the, the PlayStation Store or down he goes the Xbox. At the 33. It's not even on there anymore. That makes it I think. And it's hard to also find it at a retail store like GameStop or He's Walmart. Scrambling. He's tackled around the 34 yard line. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. not going to keep the drive stop. going. Good, solid defense there to force but him If you have the money to get it, and you really want to play college football, how to get it. Dennis is back awaiting the punt. Booming kick. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Seen at GameStop a couple of days ago. Oh, the LSU's oh, gonna go for it on fourth down. We're about set to start things up again. Oh, Ole Miss jumped. Gets out to around the 45. He just played and won 77 to 22. What's up, man? It's second down, and they're about to like it better than Madden. The first down marker. A lot of people like Just college football more than Madden regulation. does, or more than Madden because it's, there's so much you can do up in college football. He makes his way out to about the 35. One thing that I like about college football more than Madden is after every few years, you got a new quarterback, you got a, you got new players to play with. Madden, you go through nearly 20 games, and then next year you pretty much have the same team. From the 35-yard line, first down. Johnny, I need a 
bro. I'm just gonna change it to run. They go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball? 2020. Carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. This is my third season. He's at the 20. Tackle made at the 11. Playing for two years. That's pretty much how long I've been playing for, too, is two years. From the 11 yard line. First down. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. I play like one, two, and sometimes three games a day. I had one stream where I played five games in one day. And that ended up taking like a five hour stream. Joe Burrow is he's running over running over Ole Miss defenders, dude. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Burrow is playing pretty good right now. Ooh. And the ball game's over. The Tigers take this one. 34 17. It's his flag. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon. Pass an appearance. Defense. So do the rosters update update by themselves? No, there's people on Operation Sports that creates the rosters for everyone. And you have to download them. Uh, let me. Because they haven't completed the full roster yet. Let's see. Rosters. Right here, Bikes Fan 2018 19 roster. How many do they have? They have 64 out of 126 team. Let's check out the stats here. I'm in the championship game, and I'm about to be in the 2021 season. Hey, man. Better win that championship game. So we threw 181 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Tay Provins had his first good game, and he also had a fumble still. Clyde Edwards Hilaire had 89 yards rushing. This dude had a drop in the end zone, Jamal Pettigrew. Check out the team stats, how everybody looked. He had 443 yards, they had 261. That's pretty much realistic stats right there. LSU's defense should hold Wake Forest to 81 yards rushing. They allowed 180 yards pass, and we had 181, and we ran all over them. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is a beast. He just fought for that touchdown, dude.
flag. Offsides on the defense. They were offsides and still couldn't get them, dude. Wow. people were ready to come visit after I do the recruiting guys give all the people the visits that they need put a few more points on players see if I need to take points off of somebody put on somebody else I'll go ahead and end the stream for tonight and finish up this LSU Ole Miss game I might go live later tonight playing some Call of Duty if anybody wants to come by we can even if I'm playing Call of Duty, you guys can still come by, ask for predictions on, on football games, who's going to win. We can all just chill about and talk about football if you guys want to. It don't matter if we're playing COD or what. I know it's probably not something you guys will want to watch if you're watching football, but we still enjoy talking about sports up in it. back on him. So let's see the visit. So I'm against I'm against Florida. We can get Noah Herbert fast. So him. We do need to put him against Auburn. Right, let's go. Let's go against Arburn with him. So he'll get some extra points. Guard. Oh my god. We can't even. Bro, we can't even put him. Bro, that's messed up. He's full. I've never had that happen to me before. This dude's full. What? I guess this because I'm didn't check him fast enough. has an open spot I saw it right there Why can't I put it on 
I'm do like he. He hasn't opened. Dang, dude, we're not gonna be able to get John Whittaker. Whittaker. Alright, let's. Actually, I want to run through the stats and stuff too. <laughs> See how everybody's playing so far. I like having a. Uh, doing what like how Madden does put the formation subs put the good speed back up in shotguns and stuff like that put the other running back up in like power situation you can always use three running backs at that point Touchdowns, two interceptions, not terrible. That's not bad. <laughs> Gotta keep playing smart with him. Running the ball. Tay Provence, 331. He has 335, 75 for him. Steven, Jamar Chase, 15. Justin Jefferson hasn't got a touchdown catch. Neither has Terrence Marshall Jr. That's unfortunate. This dude had one catch, one touchdown, two catches, one touchdown. I like to even it out with every receiver. I don't have a standout receiver ever. Alright, so let's see. Zach's going Logan. Well, technically the right ends always dominate this. Neil Farrell, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Gary Vincent Jr. has a sack. Let's go, man. Interceptions two and one. Do we have any forced fumbles? Gavin Cotton has one. He didn't even recover it. But we who's the leading tackler? Jacob Phillips, Kerry Vincent Jr., Jacoby Stevenson. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this stream here today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I might be live again in a little bit after the LSU game. I might play some Call of Duty. I'm not sure if, it, if I'll be doing zombies or what, but I will let you. If you guys want to come back, you can turn on the little bell icon on your screen to receive notifications when I go live. I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for some more of the LSU Dynasty and some more of other content. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later.